Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can set up multiple WordPress website on localhost in Windows 10 using XAMPP server. Here you can see I have already created uh, my first website with WordPress on localhost. So now I am going to show you how you can create multiple WordPress websites. The process is very simple and easy. You just need to rename your folders in SC directory. And you will have to create new database for each new installation to make the process simple and easy. Now let's start. Now in C drive you can see this XAMPP directory. Now I am going to start XAMPP services with this XAMPP control option. And now I can start Apache and my SQL service from this button. You just need to press these buttons to start both of these services. Now Apache and MySQL has uh, this green background, it means these services are running. You can also see this option here, XAMPP control. Now if you will open your browser and you will type localhost, you will see this page. It means XAMPP server is running. Now let's go to phpMyAdmin tab. We will have to create a new database for our WordPress installation here you can see i already have a database it's called to create a block that i use for my that this i use this database for my first wordpress installation let's create another database now you can name it anything you like such as wp2 or your project name or anything you like now i am going to use wordpress 2 now let's click create this button now we have created our database. You can also download WordPress from wordpress.org. Now if I go to my downloads folder, here you can see WordPress. And now we need to extract these files here in the htdocs directory. So go to C drive, XAMPP folder and htdocs. Here you can see my first WordPress website. So now I am going to extract all these files. In htdocs directory. We already have WordPress directory. So I am going to create a new folder. Let's name it WP2 or WordPress2. Now open this folder and extract all WordPress files in this directory. Now close this and now we have all our WordPress files here and we need to rename this wp-config-sample file. So let's create a copy of this so we can use it later if anything goes wrong. And rename this to backup now rename the first file to simply wp-config.php and open this file now we need to add our database information and database user info here so go to php my admin and we created this database it's called wordpress 2 so replace this database name here with wordpress 2 or whatever your, your database name is and database username it's called root in Zen server for windows and password here uh, just remove this and it's blank now go and save your changes close this file now open your browser and type localhost and your project name in in my case it's wordpress 2 you can see under htdocs we have wordpress 2 so let's type this hit enter and you will see this installation page select your language click continue button and enter your site title and other information i am going to use just learn wp.com 
user name Tahir. This is a local WordPress installation, so I am going to choose a very simple and easy to remember password. We also need to confirm use of weak password and let's add our email. And now click install WordPress. Now WordPress has been installed successfully, we can log in. Now type your username and your password to log in. Now to view the front end of your WordPress website, you just need to type localhost slash WordPress2 or whatever your website name is. In my case, it's WordPress2. Now here you can see the front end of our WordPress website and I logged in so I can log out and now you can see my login page to view the front end just simply type your address and you can see wordpress front end now if you want to log in to your wordpress dashboard you can click on this login link or if your theme doesn't have login link you can always type wp-admin at the end of your website url you will see this login page to log in now simply type your username and password to log in and now you can see I am logged into my WordPress dashboard so this is how you can set up multiple WordPress websites now if you want to create another WordPress website the process is simple and easy just start web server go to PHP my admin section and create a new database for new WordPress website Now if you need another website you can create a new database WP3 or anything you like and then the process is same. So this is how you can create multiple WordPress websites on localhost in Windows 10 using same server. Thank you very much for watching this video.